Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this series, we're going to learn how to build Laravel LiveWire. Current application, my current version for Laravel is 8.6. My LiveWire version is 2.5. Now, the reason why I'm showing you that is because if you're watching this in the future, yours might be a little bit different. Is LiveWire is currently under active development. So things might work a little bit different for you. So please just consult the documentation if it doesn't work out. Right, the next thing is we're going to build a full page component. So meaning we're not going to make use of controllers. So everything is going to run through our LiveWire component. Now, the next thing is this is not going to be a single page application. If you used to react or view, then you will understand what that means. The next thing is we double links are no longer supported or under active development. So LiveWire team, please, can you... Uh, think of and come to a solution for us if we want to build a single page application. Now, the next thing is someone might ask me, why don't put everything under one video? If I do that, the video will be a bit too long and people don't like to watch long videos uh, from experience, right? So I want to kind of keep it short and precise so that we can go through all episodes one by one. And maybe later I will add everything to one video for those that prefer the longer format. Right, so let's quickly get into this and let's create our LifeWire component. Right, so in order to create the LifeWire component, just open up your terminal and PHP Artisan Make LifeWire. And I'm just going to use tag because what we're going to do is we're going to create a card application to, in order to create a tag all right so let's just do that i'm just going to call it tag like that as you can see it will create a class for us and it will create a view so let's quickly go there all right so if you go to your app http live wire you'll see you've got a folder right there and you'll see the class in here so this is our class right here the next thing is if we go to resources views live wire and you'll see our view right there Okay, so now the next thing that I want to show, since we're going to create a full page LiveWire component, okay, so let me just quickly show you these two things. On the resources, views, layouts right here, I'm going to create just a new one, anonymous one. So let's just create a new file, and I'm going to call this one just main.blade.php. Okay, so I'm just going to create a boilerplate quickly. And if you're using older versions, let's say in Laravel 7, we didn't use slots, we use add hilt. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to do a body like this. Okay, or content. Let's do it like this, content. So if you guys are using older versions, I want to show it for both how to do it. All right, so let's start off with the first one. Okay, so if you're using the older versions, you will probably have the yield content and not the slot like this okay with the newer versions all right so if you're using the older versions let me just quickly show you then how to in order to actually render your full page component in there what we do is we do an extends okay and then extends which layout now you must choose the layout that you're going to use now in this case it will be layouts file dot main okay so the, i'm referencing so let, basically what it will do is it will go to resources, views, layouts, and it will go for this main file right there. Now, the next thing that we need to add in here is the section. Okay. The section, where do we want it to be? So in this case, we're going to yield content. So it's going to look for this one right here. So we're going to add the content in there. Okay, so that's the old way that we're going to do things without slots. Just make sure that you do it like this. The next way, okay, so the next one, the next one will be, let's say you're using slots. In this case, it will be under our guest file. Let me just go there, resources, views, layout. You will see we've got the app and the guest. So I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, I'm not going to use that since I'm using a JStream installation. So this is all good for me. All right, so I'm going to use either the app or the guest, okay? Because if you're using the dashboard uh, for your LiveWire card, on the app, it's kind of will be needed, right? So let's quickly do that. 
So under our tag right here, what we do now is we're just going to call it layout like this. Okay, layout. And then we can just, by default, it will go to the app, uh, layouts.app. Okay, but I'm just going to show you guys this. So layout dot like this. Uh, that is going to go anyway by default to that one. Now, let's say you don't want to make use of that. We can just type in the guest layout. All right, so as you can see under my layouts right here, you'll see we've got a guest layout right there. Okay, now the next thing that we need to add in here is the slot. Okay, so what you can do now is you can just add the slot like this. So if you wanted to go to a specific slot in your layout view, so let's say we got a guest layout by default. If we don't add the slot like this, okay, so by default, it will go to you make use of this slot okay which is all good which we which we are going to do now let's say you have another slot in here okay and we're going to call this one body okay and let's put that between a section tags just like this okay so let's say there's another slot in there called body so in order to make use of this slot instead of the main slot what we do is we add the dot, dot slot like this and then we add the body like that okay so now our live wire component will know that it need to go to the slot right there instead of the main one but if you want to make use of the main one you can just basically remove this like this okay so i'm going to make use of layouts the guest layout okay for this application okay so now we're all set up all ready to go so what we're going to do in the next episode is we need to set up create our tag model with the routes as well all right so see you guys there like the video if you like it have any questions feedbacks or suggestions please leave it for me in the comment section of what you would like to see in this series so see you guys there and adios